Hi, everybody. Today, I want to show you some audience participation features in Zoom. So in order to use these, you're going to need to learn how to use the participant uh, button at the bottom of the screen. So when you're a host, you're going to see controls, kind of like the ones that I have, depending on what you enable. But one you'll always have uh, when you have participants is this one here called Manage Participants. And now what I've done for the purpose of this video is I have logged in three different times so that on one login I could uh, be the host, on another login I could maybe be the, the co-host, and on another login I could be the participant, and so that we could experience all these features at the same time. But when you're using it, you're just going to be the host. So anyway, um, you can toggle the uh, participant panel on and off just by clicking once off, uh, clicking once on, and then you'll see this whole panel come up here. And you can actually even, as part of that, toggle the chat features at the bottom on and off. So I'm just leaving both on for right now, but we're focusing on this top part, which is showing my three participants. Um, so the first thing is to toggle the menu. You'll see your list of participants in the window here. Um, actually noticed right off the bat that one of my participants is raising his hand. So there's a, a, a number of really good features that maybe you haven't looked at with all these little buttons that are right here that will allow you to engage your audience. And what I suggest is um, that you're going to have quite a few people uh, if you have an assistant that can do the lecture with you, then you can have that assistant, um, and maybe that person could just be your co-host that you can designate when you log in, and have the co-host monitor this panel um, so that the speaker doesn't have to simultaneously do that and, uh, and the presentation at the same time. So um, ideally, you have a host and a co-host, uh, but if you are the host only, you, you will have to keep in mind that you have to kind of look at your participant list over here once in a while and see what they're doing. Okay, so um, the first thing is, is that um, with regard to your uh, participants, as I hover over each participant, you can see a menu. The menu is a little different depending on if it's you, the host, versus um, somebody who's logged in. So here's uh, my second login right now, which is me on my iPad. And what I'm going to do here is just hover over that, and I'll show you what's on the menu. So when you see a participant, you can uh, go over here and click on the menu. Um, you can stop that person's video if you want to. Um, you could mute that person. You could chat one-on-one -on -one with that person, send uh, just a one-on-one -on -one chat message, and then you can see that uh, that, that changes to that particular person. You can um, make that person the co-host or even the host if you've enabled that feature. Um, you can uh, do other things too, like put the person in the waiting room. I have a separate video on how to handle the waiting room, but this is a really excellent feature. You can uh, rename that person. So if somebody logs in and doesn't have a name, it just says guest. If you've identified that person, you can put their name on there so that we can all see who that is, um, or you can see who's talking. Or you can remove them completely. Now, if you remove the participant, um, but keep in mind that by default, uh, Zoom doesn't let them come back if they've been removed. So if you do want that participant to be able to rejoin after you, the host, have removed them, then make sure that that feature is enabled in your settings uh, so they can actually come back. Uh, again, super useful features. Now, um, a couple other things. I'm going to try and keep this video short. I'm at about four minutes already. But uh, there's all these nice little icons here. So your participants can do things like raise their hand. Okay, so if um, here I am on my on my Android device, I've raised my hand. And once you've answered that person's question, you can then lower their hand. Uh, that way they don't have to interrupt you with a, with a text. Sometimes that's a little hard to focus on. Uh, if you want to take votes, then uh, let's say, OK, everybody, how many people are in favor of this or that? So over here on my iPad now, I'm going to um, you know, go to the menu. And 
I'm going to uh, uh, go to the participant menu here and I'm going to vote yes. Okay, so one vote yes over here. Uh, and let's say I also vote yes. So uh, as people put in their votes, you can see the, visually how many people have voted yes. But also, if you have a monitor here, um, this is keeping tabulation. So if there were like 100 participants and you had 49 yes and uh, 51 no, then you would see all those tabulations at the bottom. The same thing with the uh, speakers could go faster, go slower. Uh, uh, people can, your participants have these little menus on their iPad or their Zoom app or whatever they've logged in at. Uh, they can they can say thumbs up, uh, thumbs down for like or dislike. They can clap their hands if they think you're really doing good. Or um, we can all, we can all vote for to take a break. So if I wanted to uh, put up a coffee break or just you know say that I'm going to be away temporarily. Um, uh, so that might be good. And it, it would be great to teach your participants early on how to use these, maybe make them watch this video. Um, so like if they're away from the screen, then they can they can put up the away. So that way, you know, that they haven't logged off, but uh, for some reason they're just like stepped away. So if you call them uh, and, you know, they're not answering, you know that they're going to be coming right back. So as you can see, there's a lot of stuff you could do with your participants to make this really interactive. Uh, this stuff tends to work a lot better if you actually have uh, a co-host or somebody else to help you uh, uh, monitor the participant panel and once in a while take a look up there and see what your participants are using or saying to, that they want to do with their, uh, with their icons. All right. I hope that makes your meetings a lot more fun. And I look forward to showing you some more Zoom tips and tricks.